Hey, Nikki here with Beauty Jadour with my first sew along with Nomi, which is, I should know this right, ME2001. It is the coat and the trouser pattern. So today we're gonna to be sewing view A, which is the oversized coat. This coat is awesome. Um, so many people can accommodate an oversized coat. And it comes in size from 10 all the way to 38. But if you're a six or an eight, it's oversized. It's designed to fit oversized, so you'll be just fine. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave them. Let's get sewing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the coat. And uh, this coat is going to be for this tutorial, then I'm gonna do another tutorial that's gonna be for the pants. So you wanna always take a look at the back of the pattern prior to getting started. You want to see what your suggested fabrics are. And keep in mind, this coat is designed to fit oversize. Um, so nothing with any type of stretch in it. Um, it's going to give you all the information you need in terms of the notions, what size you need to cut, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and go over the pieces that you'll need. You'll need to cut one of the fabric of the carriers, which are the belt loops. You're going to want to cut on number six, which is the front facing, you wanna cut two pieces of fabric, two pieces of interfacing. And keep in mind, if you want a, like a more defined and a stronger lapel, um, you wanna do a heavier interfacing. If you don't have a heavier interfacing handy, you can do like two or three layers of your regular, your normal interfacing. All right, so we wanna do, this is the front. We want to cut two of the front, two of the belt, the under collar. You want to cut two fabric, two interfacing, the tab, which is the thick band that's around the wrist. You want to cut two of those. And for the pocket, you want to do two fabric, two lining. For the back, you want to cut two. The back lining, you want to cut two. The upper collar, you want to cut one on the fold and uh, one interfacing on the fold. The front lining, you want to cut two. And for the sleeve, you want to cut two fabric and two lining, making note of the lining line right here. So for your lining, you only want to go down to this line and cut it. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll cut out the fabric and be right back. Okay, so now we have all the pieces cut out. We have the lining cut out. We also have the interfacing attached to all the pieces necessary. So what we're gonna do now is work with the back. So we're gonna take the, I'm gonna move these over. And we're going to take the two back pieces, put uh, right sides together, and we're going to pin. Okay, so once it's pinned, we want to go ahead and take it to the machine. We want to stitch down the back using a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and then press open. Okay, so we have the back put together. So now what we want to do is just kind of set this to the side for a moment and grab the two front pieces. So if you haven't already done so, you need to make sure you have your markings. So having the markings on this pattern in particular is very, very important because you wanna make sure your collar is even and it's nice and it's crisp. So we wanna go ahead and make sure we have the markings on both sides of the front. And this is the wrong side of the fabric. 
So what we want to do now, and I'm going to grab a piece of chalk so that you can see it clearer. So the marking that's right here in this little corner, we want to take and stitch through this marking. And so all we're doing here is just kind of reinforcing this. So go ahead on both sides, just this one in the corner. We want to reinforce the corners of this. Okay, so we have these corners reinforced. Now what you want to do is you want to clip into this corner, but make sure you don't clip into the thread. You want to do the same thing on the other side. Clip into the corner without cutting and clipping into the thread. So it's like this. So now what we want to do is we're going to take the back and the front pin it together at the shoulders with right sides together. And now we're going to stitch the shoulders using a 5 8 7 inch seam allowance and then press them open. Okay, so we have the front and the back connected at the shoulders and we have them pressed open. Now what you want to do is stay stitch from right here all the way around. So we're stay stitching the back of the neck. So from right here close to the edge over here. Okay, so we have the neck portion stay stitched. And now what we're going to do is install the pockets. So we're going to be working on the right side of the fabric. This is the right side, this is the wrong side. So for the front, we're going to use the lining, the pocket lining. And so right side to right side. We're going to line the pocket up with the notch. And then you're going to go ahead and pin this. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. This is the lining, right side to right side. Line the notch up to the notch on the front and then pin. So once we have them pinned, now what you're gonna do is take it to the machine and you're gonna stitch just this portion from right here to here, from here to here, on the front and the back. And once you do that, you're going to then press with the pockets going in this direction. Okay, so we have the pockets attached and we have them pressed out. So again, this is the wrong side of the fabric. So what you wanna do now is understitch. You wanna take the pockets and you wanna stitch from here down. And so the stitching will be visible on the other side. So you wanna do as close to this stitch as you can. 
And you want to do that on all four sides. Okay, so we have the pockets stitched. And now what we want to do is turn this wrong side out. And we want to stitch the side seams. So what we're going to do is we're going to line these up. And you want to pin them. But what you want to do is you want to leave the top of this and the bottom. You're going to leave this portion right here open. And you want to do that on both sides. So you want to line these up. Okay, so then go ahead, using a 5 8 7 inch seam allowance, we're going to stitch, stop here, start back up here, stitch all the way down. And then once you do that, you want to go ahead and you want to stitch the pockets up on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and take this over to my machine. Be right back. Okay, so we have the pockets and the side seams stitched up and now what you want to do is you want to go in here at the bottom and the top like right where the pocket meets and you just kind of want to click this over and open that up and you want to do the same thing at the top and you want to clip it to the stitch line make sure you don't cut into the stitch line And you want to press your seams open. Once you press your seams open, you want to turn this over with your pocket going toward the front and you want to press these seams flat. So we have everything pressed out, the seams pressed open. Now what we're going to do is install the belt loops. So first we want to make sure we have everything nicely marked off. So on the pattern you have the markings for the belt loops. So you want to make sure you have those. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and transfer the markings onto the right side of the fabric.
Okay, so once we have that done, we want to take the loops, which it's going to be noted um, in terms of the pattern as carriers, but they're just simply the belt loops. Um, you want to make sure you have them, the lines drawn out on each one, so it will equal four different um, belt loops. So let's go ahead and cut these. Okay, so once you have them cut, what you want to do is working on this side of the fabric, which is the right side. This is the right side, this is the wrong side. You want to fold over just the ends, 3 eighths of an inch. And then you want to go ahead and pin it. You want to do that for each side. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is iron this as flat as I can. Once I do that, I'm going to take the pins out. And then while it's still folded, we're going to fold this part in a half an inch on each side. Okay, so once you have the both the ends, again, folded under 3 eighths of an inch, and the sides folded under a half an inch and pressed, what you want to do now is at the very end, you want to stitch both ends. So go ahead and do that to all four sides. Okay, so we have the carriers and what we're going to do now is attach them to the coat. So where we made the markings, we want to go ahead and place a carrier the top and the bottom. We want to more so line it up with the top. Let me go ahead and pin it. Make sure it's straight and go ahead and do that with all four. Okay, so once you have them pinned on, what you want to do is this existing stitch. All you want to do is stitch over the existing stitch on the top and the bottom, making sure you reinforce the ends on every one. So we have all the carriers attached, and now what we want to do is Grab the under color and with right sides together, we want to go ahead and pin this. And then stitch. Down the center using a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Once you do that, go ahead and press the seam open. Okay, so we have this piece stitched and what we're going to do now is clip the neck. So what you want to do when you clip the neck is just make sure you don't go through the stitching. And just kind of clip it around the curve. I'm going to turn it around so I don't make a mistake. Okay, 
So now we're going to go ahead and take this, lining up the back seam, right sides together. In this and so this part here is kind of tricky because what you don't want to happen is for it to be uneven and then it'll make your collar look kind of wonky so you want to take this notch and make sure you lining this notch up with this notch So then you're going to have these two markings on here. These two markings should coincide with right here where you reinforce this portion here. And this is telling you where you're going to stop the stitching. So you want to line this dot up right there. And you're going to probably have to ease it in there. And let's pin it. And then you want to go ahead and pin this. Let's do it right here. And then go ahead and pin the rest of the collar. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. But make notice of this part right here, which is where you reinforced it and you clipped it. When you stitch this, you probably want to stitch on this side as opposed to this side. That way, when you're stitching this, you're going right over this reinforced part right there. Because if you move it up, you won't be able to catch this and you'll have like a little hole in your collar. So you want to make sure when you stitch over this part that you are stitching over the reinforced part. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. You want to match up these notches. Okay, so once you have all of this pinned, what you want to do now is stitch from one side to the other. And again, make sure you stitch on this side so that you don't miss this uh, clipped part right here. Okay, so we have the under collar attached and I just want to give you kind of a close-up of how it should look so 
you have to make sure you stop at the appropriate places where it's marked. And then on the other side, how I stitched here, right where I reinforced that part. So what we're going to do now is we're going to trim the seam allowance and then we're going to go ahead and clip just like kind of like around the edges for this and then press. Okay, so we have the under collar nicely pressed. We have it clipped. Um, I also pressed it on this side as well, just so that it lays nice and flat. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just kind of set this to the side and work on the arm bands, which um, in the pattern they're called a tab. So we're going to go ahead and with right sides together, fold this over in this. And we're going to do the same thing with the other one as well. Right sides together. And we're going to go ahead and stitch close to the edge on both of these, turn them right side out and press flat. Okay, so now we have the two tabs nicely pressed. So what we're going to do is grab the sleeves and the mark should already be on the sleeve. Now this is the right side of the sleeve and this is the right side of the tab. You're going to go ahead and place the seam is going to be going toward the bottom. You just place it here and each side. Do the same thing with the other sleeve. in each side and then you're going to base stitch each side. After you base, base stitch you're going to go ahead and fold it over with right sides touching and you're going to stitch using a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Once you do that go ahead and press that seam open. Okay, so we have the sleeves prepared. Everything stitched up and nicely pressed. Now what we're gonna do is set them inside the coat. So, we're gonna go from the inside Match up the bottom seam to the bottom seam of the coat. Pin it. Take the very top center of the sleeve and match that up with the top of the seam here and then pin that.
match the notches on each side. Okay, so now what you want to do is go ahead and stitch this. And once you stitch it, you want to then again stitch it about one eighth of an inch from the edge. So I have the sleeve set in. Now what you want to do is trim the seam allowance. And then you want to press, you want to press the seam and everything going in the direction of the actual sleeve. So you want to press it flat going in toward the sleeve all the way around. Okay, so we have everything pressed. Now we're going to go ahead and move to the lining. So we have the back, and we're going to go ahead and put right sides together. Bend this all the way down, and then we're going to stitch using a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And don't forget, um, on the lining as well, you have these markings that need to be made. Okay, so we have the back lining constructed. So right at the top of here, you should have uh, marked where you're going to do a pleat. So what you're going to do here is on the right side of the fabric, on this one side that you have the marking, you should be able to see that. See it clear. So on the one side, we're going to pinch it and take it in so that it meets the seam. And then pin it. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Fold it, take it in so that it meets. And then pin it. Then you're gonna go ahead and stitch. But what you're gonna do is not just stitch this part, but you're gonna do a stay stitch around the entire uh, neck. And then go ahead and press this flat. Okay, so now we have the back finished and pressed. What we wanna do now is go ahead and attach the front lining pieces right sides together. You wanna pin these. So we want to go ahead and stitch the seam and the shoulders using a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so we have the sides connected and everything is pressed. Now what you want to do is at the hem, you want to fold this up one and one fourth of an inch using a gauge. all the way across.
Okay, so once this is pinned, you want to go ahead and take it over to the iron and press it out really hard. Okay, so once you have the bottom pressed, what you want to do now is you want to fold the top part under about a quarter of an inch and then pin it. want to do this all the way down. Like so. And once you do that all the way to the other end, you want to go ahead and stitch close to this edge. Close to the edge, the folded edge at the top. Okay, so we have the hem of the lining Finished, now what we want to do is move over to the facing. So this is the front facing. So just like we did with the front piece, what we want to do is using this uh, marking right here, we want to reinforce this. So you want to do a stitch around here, reinforcing this, and then we're going to cut into, well, kind of make a vent, but not cut actually into the stitching. So we'll take this over to the machine, we'll reinforce this corner right here, and then cut into it. Okay, so we have this done where we reinforce the corner. You can kind of see this in here, and it's clipped. Now what we want to do is attach the facing to the lining with right sides together. And you want to attach it at the top, matching the notches as you go. Okay, so once you have it pinned, You want to go ahead and stitch it, and you want to stitch close to the edge, but not so close that you miss um, kind of like some of the fabric because that can happen sometimes. And with it being on the edge, you want to make sure your edge is like really sharp, but also really secure. Okay, so go ahead and stitch this. Do the same thing to the other side. And once you do that, you want to go ahead and press that seam open. Okay, so we have the facing attached. And here is what the bottom is going to look like for now. And it looks this way on both sides. And here we are at the top. So what we're going to do is attach at the shoulders. We're going to stitch using a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. We're going to do that on both sides and then press the seam allowance open. Okay, so we have the shoulder seams pressed out on both sides. Here's the front, um, the facing. So what we're going to do now is attach the upper collar. So we're going to match up the notches on the collar as well as the front facing. And we're doing this with right sides together. So you match up the notches here. It's really important that you get the spacing and you match the notches up absolutely on point. If not, your collar will be off. So here you want to match up this dot with this dot. 
And I use kind of like a pin. I'll just stick a pin in and then a pin to the other side just to make sure you're getting it right where it's supposed to be. And then you want to pin. So here is the same thing. You want to match up where this little mark is with this one right here. But making sure when you stitch this, that you stitch right here and not on top of this little vent. If you do it in top, on top of the vent, you will definitely have like a little hole in your collar and you'll definitely be able to see it. So let's go ahead and pin here. Okay, just to show you what I've done so far. I've matched up these marks, matched up the notches. And so when you're sewing this, it gets really tricky. You have to do it kind of slow and, and pull the fabric as you sew, just so that it won't be bunched up on here. Let me stick another pin in here. All right, and let's go ahead and finish pinning as you go around. So before you pin the inside, you wanna go ahead and start over here. So do the same thing as you did on the other side. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and stitch from this point here all the way around. Make sure you go under the little clip all the way around, under the little clip, right to this point. And reinforce the stitch at the ends. Okay, so we have the upper collar attached. And now what we want to do is trim the seam allowance. And then we want to clip into the curves. and then you wanna press the seam open. Okay, so we have the upper collar attached and the seams pressed out. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and attach the lining sleeves to the rest of the lining. So we'll move this over and we're gonna do it the exact same way we did the actual lining or the actual uh, sleeves of the coat. So with right sides together. And just as a reminder, when you cut your lining, you use the same pattern piece. There's not a separate pattern piece for the lining. So with that pattern piece, there is a line that's about an inch shorter um, for your lining for your sleeve. So make sure that you don't cut the actual lining the exact size of the sleeve, that you cut it about an inch shorter. So let's go ahead and with both pieces, 
we're going to pin this to the machine, stitching 5 eighths of an inch. After you stitch this, you're going to press the seams open. Okay, so we have the sleeve linings. Uh, pressed out. We want to turn them right side out. Take the coat lining and do the exact same thing that we did um, with the actual sleeves of the coat. You want to find the top portion, just kind of like stick a little pin in there. I'm gonna line up the bottom seams. Pin these and then line up the top with the top seam. And then go ahead and fit the rest of the sleeve in. Okay, so once you have the sleeve set in, you want to go ahead, stitch these, and then press the seam allowance open. Okay, we have the sleeves inserted into the lining. Now what we want to do is pull the sleeves to the inside. And this is the lining that we're working with. Pull the sleeves to the inside. Turn the lining out. You want to put the coat with right sides matching. So, uh -oh. All right. so with right sides matching, we're going to line up these notches that are in the top. Pin them. Pin this one. Okay, so once you have it all pinned, you're going to go ahead and you're going to stitch all the way around closer to the edge. We're making sure you grab both pieces in there. When you get to this portion right here, you're going to stitch to the mark point. So for each side, the mark point and go all the way around. Once you do that, uh, you want to go ahead and press the seams open. We will be pressing them flat on the right side, but for right now, just to get like a really good press, you want to press the seam open after you, um, after you stitch it. But you also want to trim it. So before you do that, you want to trim it and then uh, press the seams. And we're going to clip this, but I'll show you um, how I do that once I go ahead and stitch. 
Okay, so we have the lining attached to the coat. And now what we want to do is go through. And on these curved parts, we want to go ahead and clip. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and press open the, uh, the seams all the way around. Okay, so I have the um, seams pressed out as much as I could because it's, of course, difficult to get into like these corners. So what we're going to do now is turn the coat right side out and then give it a really good press. Make sure you're going to use a pressing cloth for this just so that you don't put some type of sheen or damage the fabric in any way. But this is a really, really important part. Um, you want to get into the corners and when you turn this out and also press really, really hard. Okay, so we have the, uh, the collar and the front facing with the front nicely pressed out. Um, so now what we wanna do is we wanna attach the lining to the actual sleeve. So you wanna pull the sleeves out, which I already have them pulled in actually. And you want this, both the sleeve and the lining separate. You want to Take the lining and match it up with the seams. With right side spacing and pin the seam together. and then just attach it as you go around. Now, what you want to do is go ahead, take this over to the machine and stitch these together. And after you stitch them, turn the sleeves right side out. Okay, so now we have the sleeves turned right side out. We're going to go ahead and press them out really well. Okay, so we have the sleeves pressed out and now we're going to finish the bottom, the hem. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this under uh, for one and a half inches. And by doing that, it should leave it to where it's completely even. And then go ahead and pin this. And do this all the way around. So if your plan at this point is to serge, you could go ahead and press it and then just serge the ends. If not, you can press it and then fold it over about a quarter of an inch. So once you do that, 
once you fold it under um, a quarter of an inch, then you can blind stitch or you can hand stitch it. Or if you want to use a machine, um, you can just regular stitch it as well. Okay, so we have the hem finished and pressed out. Now we have to finish the belt. So what we'll do is we'll take the two belt pieces. And we will put right sides together. We'll go ahead and pin this. We're going to stitch this and press the seam open. Okay, so we have the two pieces attached. Now what you want to do with the right sides together, you want to pin. You want to pin these two together. Now what we're going to do is leave a portion open so that you're able to turn this uh, right side out and then you're just going to slip stitch uh, these pieces closed. So let's go ahead and pin. Okay, so we're going to stitch the sides as well as all the way up and I'm leaving this amount open I mean there's no said rule however much you need to to be able to turn it out so go ahead and stitch that and then turn it right side out okay so I have it all stitched up but one thing I didn't mention before you turn this right side out you want to go ahead and kind of clip the corners on this side as well as this side and based off of where you stitched you might want to go ahead and trim this as well okay so we have it trimmed now all you need to do is turn this right side out and press flat. Okay, so I've turned the belt um, right side out and I pressed it. So what you want to do now is let me grab the pins. All right, you want to turn this. inside and pin it and you just want to make sure it's flush with the other side I'm going to have to press this because this, uh, see this seam is, should be at the very top. So I just need to repress this. But now what you want to do is do a slip stitch uh, in this space right here and then press one more time. Okay, so I have the belt done and now all you need to do is press out the lapels so i like mine kind of like a bit wider uh, but this is going to be like your final press and this is going to be where you, and how wide and how thick you want your lapels to sit um so i'm going to do a final press and um we're all done